Alright, let's do a shrimp update. Hey YouTube, time to do a shrimp update for the month of March. Uh, we'll just start over here like we always do. These are the lower grade crystal reds. Got a ton of adults in there. These guys are just uh, kicking out babies left and right. They're doing good. Kind of got a little mosh pit going right now, but I don't know, there's hundreds of them in this tank total. Let's see if we can't zoom in a little bit. It's going to blur out on me before we can get some nice close-ups. Well, that's alright right there. So not much new to say about them. But they're doing well. That one on the Choya wood there is uh, buried, I believe. Uh, moving next door, not doing so good over here. My crystal black tank has crashed for some reason. When I say crash, I don't mean that the tank crashed as far as, um, you know, bacterial bloom or, or lost the cycle or anything, but about a week or two weeks ago, I started noticing these guys hadn't been <clears throat> coming out as much. Um, found a few dead here and there but not a ton to be honest with you but they're just not coming out so I'm not sure if they're all hiding in the moss here or if they're dead in the moss my TDS was a little off and I've been working on getting that straightened out but it honestly wasn't too severe tested all the other water parameters everything checked out just fine oh there's a dead one right there But, yeah, I mean, you guys remember from my last few videos, <clears throat> they were always a ton of them out front, especially when it was feeding time, <clears throat> and now they're not, so it's a bum deal. Gotta fit, keep trying to get to the bottom of that and figure out what's going on. Uh, moving next door, the, the higher grade uh, crystal reds are doing great. Uh, they continue to, to breed, and, and the population's growing and growing. There's a brand new little teeny shrimplet right there. But yeah, they're they're doing great. Um, real happy about that. <coughs> There's a nice buried female right there. And then moving next door here, the uh, PRL tank. They're doing great. We've got uh, definite breeding going on there. There's some babies right around the area here you can see. Um, pretty recently I had at least three buried females. I'm not sure if they're all still buried or if they've gone and laid their eggs. That uh, petri dish there is a little dirty so you can't really see well into there. But yeah, they're doing good. These The ones in this tank are all... Um, from DET Aquarium and I'm keeping these separate from any other PRLs that I get which um, you'll see later I've got another PRL tank um, just because sometimes I like to keep stuff separate ooh there's another one back there but anyway yeah we're doing good there um, really happy with the Taiwan bees over here. <clears throat> um, as you can see, um, a lot of the babies are really starting to get size. I continue to have uh, females that I find that are buried. Uh, most recently I found a buried blue bolt and then um, there's a buried shadow panda or panda in there. Um, so yeah, they're <clears throat> they're multiplying, which is which is a good thing. Real real happy about that. I am strongly considering 
this fish tank down here, it's a 75 gallon, uh, turning it into a 75 gallon Taiwan B tank. So uh, look for that possibly in the future. But uh, for now, um, I've got these here and they're doing well. So fun to see these uh, these babies uh, grow. Haven't seen any new, real little teeny ones lately, so there haven't been any recent births. If they are, they're they're kind of hiding themselves, which is common. But um, but yeah, the Taiwan bees are doing well. Real happy about them. Then down here is another Taiwan bee tank. Kind of a little project I'm working on. Um, from three different sources. Um, I've got um, the first round that I got here of Taiwan bees was from uh, Blue Crown Aquatics. And then I got some from a, uh, a private uh, a private party uh, on Facebook, Lindsay Savage, and then more recently I got some more from a guy on Shrimp Spot. I believe his name is Plamsky on Shrimp Spot. Um, and uh, so I've got uh, three different bloodlines in here. Uh, things are doing real well. I've got from Lindsay. I got some white slash potential red bolts. There they are. Couple of them, couple more back there. Some def definitely have the white tint to them, or the red tint to them. Some don't, and I'm I'm cool with both, so that's great. Some more up there. Um, some wine slash ruby reds from another guy um, from Plamsky. Um, some blue bolts, some blue pan or some pandas, some shadow pandas. And then on top of that, before I got these last two shipments in, when I just had the Blue Crown ones, which I've had in here for quite some time, they actually finally did um, produce some babies. Um, I don't see any out right now. They, they're very new, but I had gone in this tank to try to catch... Well, here's one right here on this filter. It's not going to zoom. But I'd gone into this tank to catch um, a couple of blue bolts for a buddy of mine. And um, moving things around, it stirred things up and the hidden babies were coming out. There's another one on this piece of mineral rock back here. So that's promising. And then at the same time, uh, right around the same time, I found uh, two uh, buried females. Um, and they were both blue bolts. So we'll see what comes of that. But yeah, this tank is, is taking off nicely now. Um, kind of gave it a little bit of a jump start, adding these two new groups of Taiwan bees to it. Nice B -P BKK Black King Kong back there. Pandas, blue bolts. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really liking the Taiwan bees, as you guys probably can tell. Got two tanks and planning on building a bigger one. So that's that tank. Um, we'll go over here now to all the newer ones. <clears throat> and all these are filled with something at this point now, so we're just going to start at the top. Um, these are or Orange Eye Blue Tigers. Um, just got these in from uh, Eric Lucas at bypetshrimp.com recently. Um, real nice shrimp, pretty happy with them. Just kind of waiting for them to come into their own and color up and stuff like that. <clears throat> They're going to be real nice, I can tell. Uh, down below are my uh, Royal Blue Tigers, which are doing awesome. These guys have just continued to breed and breed, so I'm real happy about that. Um, finally noticing now a couple uh, that I need to call out, which I haven't had to do yet, uh, because they've all pretty much bred true with uh, pretty nice dark solid coloring. But you can see there's that one in the, in the middle there. So I got a couple of leftover red rillies in this tank still. 
which is fine. But as you can see, there's babies all over the place, um, which I'm really, really happy about. Here's some newer babies over on this side. Nice adult. I think that's a female. You know, almost every time I look into this tank, I find at least one buried female, so that's positive, too. Moving down, I've got a tank where I have got both regular tigers, which here's a nice one right here. These I recently got from, uh, from uh, the shrimp tank. And then I've got some painted fire reds in here as well, um, bought from a guy. I had a few of my own already, and then I bought some from a guy. And uh, I'm not sure, some of these, I've been told you have to wait for them to color up until they get older, but some of them definitely are not looking like painted fire reds. So we'll see what happens there. But there's a bunch of them in this tank. Some of these look pretty much like a cherry shrimp to me, but we'll see. I've never really kept the painted fire reds before other than a couple um, that I had in, mixed in with my cherries that I actually did buy as painted fire reds. So um, I moved those down from my cherry tank into here. The um, lower grade crystal blacks are coming along nicely. I added a few to the tank that I bought from somebody and then um, the ones I had finally did have babies see some smaller ones in there. I think I talked about that in my last video or maybe even that was the video where I actually discovered them as I was shooting. So that's good. Uh, carbon Rillies are still doing good. I've been actively selling selling these lately. Um, so um, really with any of my shrimp um, I've got a listing going of stuff I'm selling right now but uh, let me know if you're interested in something and other than some of the newer stuff if I'm breeding, I'll probably sell sell some of them if you're looking. Uh, this tank here are green jades. I got uh, two bloodlines in here now. One from a local uh, gal, Cheryl, Minnesota Aquatics. And then one uh, set that I just actually got sh shipped in yesterday from somebody off a of shrimp spot. So we'll see how they do. But so far, so good. Nice one right there. Uh, up here is the Red Tiger tank, and up until last week or so, these things were doing just awesome. I finally had my first uh, buried female, and then something happened, and they've slowly been dying off on me. It's been a couple days now since I've seen a death, and what I think was going on is my GH was a little too high. Um, my GH was coming out of my um, RODI system, you know, at like 4 or 5. And then I was adding remineralizer to get the TDS up on these like I always do. Not really thinking about the GH, so I'm thinking that's what happened, but it seems like things have kind of balanced out now. Cross my fingers, but like I say, I haven't seen anything dead in a while. I had about 30 of these, and you know, about half of them died. The only thing is, you can see there's food here and they have not eaten it. Um, by, by now they would be over there chowing on it, so I'm still a little worried because they're not eating. Um, and then up above is, uh, these just came in recently too. These are some Blue Dreams. Um, they're still kind of settling in. I haven't had any, haven't had them, they haven't eaten yet, which is common when you get new shrimp. They don't always eat right away, but for the most part they're kind of hiding. I um, haven't seen a lot of activity in them yet, so um, there's one up here on the top of this filter. You might be able to see it. This tank's up kind of high, too, so it's harder for me to see what's going on all the time. But anyway, that's what's going on up there. All right, so we'll uh, head up to the last three tanks up in the office. And we'll start with the PRL tank. Pure red lines. Okay, so what I've got going on in here now is actually um, PRLs from three different lines. First ones I got 
a long time ago from a private seller. They never really bred. At one point I did see a baby in there, so, but that was the most extent I got out of it. More recently here I just bought uh, 15 of them from Flip Aquatics. Shout out to you Rob, check out Lup Diesel on, on uh, YouTube. And then yesterday I got in 10 more from another private seller. So uh, the new ones are still getting settled, but some of them, you can see the smaller ones in this group here are newer. The other ones I had were all pretty much adult size. So we'll kind of watch and see what happens in that tank, but looking forward to it. Up here are just the basic red cherries, which I'm for the most part looking to get rid of all these. Sold some of them recently locally. Looking to uh, get rid of the rest too. Got a bunch of juvies in here, um, but uh, these will be going. So, um, if you're looking for some ch cherries, uh, I've got some. And then the final tank down here are the uh, yellow neos. They're doing great. Finally decided to list these, and I've sold a little bit of these recently. I don't want to sell a ton, but can make them available. I'm not really exactly sure what kind of yellow neos they are. They kind of are a mixture. Got them in from the first ones I got in from a private seller that just called them yellow neos. And then actually the second ones too I got in from a private seller just called them yellow neos. They're not 24Ks. They're not uh, YKKs. Um, they're pretty basic and the color does vary. Some are brighter and more solid than others. Some of them almost look really-ish. But anyway, that's that tank, so. Well, since we're doing a shrimp update, even though I included this in my fish room update, uh, this is the 90 gallon Iwagumi Aquascape that I've got both a mono shrimp and combination of crystals and Michelings in here, which basically look the same. Um, this is kind of a project, something new for me. I'm doing um, my first shrimp tank with CO2, so um, things aren't thriving in here yet. There are dead shrimp coming up from time to time, but as you can see there are several shrimp around um, doing decent, so we're going to continue to work on this project and see what we can't get out of it, but like I say, I've got a monos in here too, along with the other ones. So they're kind of something fun to look at once in a while. A little different than your basic ornamental dwarf shrimp. Yeah. So anyway, that's that tank. Well, that's all I've got for you this time, as far as the shrimp update goes. Um, if this is your first time watching and you like what you see, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. You can click the button above to do that. Um, also, uh, you know, thank you to people that have subscribed to my channel and that watch my videos. I really appreciate you guys and all the comments and input and everything that you, that you give me. That's great. Um, also, uh, make sure that you check out the links below. Um, there's going to be links to all the members of Team Aquatic Support and their YouTube channels. You want to check those out also. And you want to make sure that you're going over to um, Aquatic Support Community on Facebook um, and get active in that in that uh, forum. Not forum. Get active in that community, I should say. Um, a lot of people think that that uh, community is, is just freshwater cichlid keepers, but any type of aquaria, you're more than welcome and we want you to come over. And So some of you people that just watch my videos for my shrimp um, updates, you know, get involved in aquatic support community and let's get some shrimp conversations going on over there too. Um, but for now, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time, have a good one.